Hi guys, John Watts here from the True Golf Academy. You've joined me on the practice area at Drayton Park Golf Club and today I want to do a really quick short video giving you a couple of great exercises to work on using the loft, using the bounce correctly, not only on a greenside pitch shot like I've got here, but also in the bunker. So you're going to see this drill uh, from down line and face on in a pitch shot. You're also going to see that uh, we're going to jump in the bunker and do exactly the same face on and down line. Same exercise. I've done a video on using the loft and using the bounce correctly when pitching, and I'm going to put a link to it in this video. So I'll come up on the screen now. Please click on that and check that out. It's got a lot of relevance to what we're talking about today. So uh, we know the, the, my club here has got 58 degrees. It says on it, so I know it's got 10 degrees of bounce. We want to use that bounce correctly. So we don't want our hands coming through ahead of the golf club, which is de-lofting the golf club and going with the sharp digging edge. We actually want the club to be skimming correctly. So good pitches of the ball, you'll see them and they could have been there half an hour and you'll hardly see that they've disturbed the turf. So they're really allowing that club to glide across the surface rather than anything digging in. We're not, we don't want that sharp lean that we would get in a chip or a bump and run, we're definitely trying to use the loft and use the bounce. So the exercise I want you to go ahead and try, and it does take a bit of getting used to, is just to use your right hand if you're a right-handed golfer. So with your left hand, you can put it in your pocket or behind your back, and you're just gonna go ahead, first of all, and make some practice swings. Just getting used to using that one hand only and allow that club to skim. What you'll notice on the finish position, I end up with this 90 degree angle, between my right arm and the club shaft here. Okay, so we are allowing that club to actually pass our hands rather than going in with our hands leading ahead of the golf club. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit a couple little pitches from here. So you'll see it down line, then face on. So right hand only, gripping at about the middle of the handle, left hand just behind my back, and just get that feeling of throw the club through so we're using the loft and the bounce now i definitely hit the ground before the ball there we do when we're pitching okay the club is making contact with the ground that was a little bit too far back but you wouldn't know by the result of him I and we got quite firm nice greens as it's a good bit of summer that we're having and that ball's rolled on it's only around 10 feet away from the flag on a 20 yard pitch shot over a bunker and that was one-handed so you know, it really doesn't matter that we are catching that ground first if we use the club, club correctly. Just not enough on that one. Let me hit one more from here and then you'll see it also from face on. So a little bit more speed. There we go. Okay, so if I turn around there as well, you'll see that I've used and maintained that loft and bounce. Let me jump into the bunker and we'll do exactly the same exercise there. So we've got the same drill but in the sand now. Though this might be a little bit scarier for you, but I want you just to go ahead and have a couple of practice swings first of all, and just get used to hitting the sand. A great exercise is just draw a line in the sand. That's gonna be the contact point. That'll be a couple of inches behind the golf ball. And just go ahead and make some swings where you just get used to feeling that we're hitting the sand and allowing that club to pass our hands, okay? Getting that sand contact, that nice high finish. Again, that 90 degree angle between our right arm and our club shaft. So let's give this a go. So I'm gaming for again about a couple of inches. This is my target line. I'm just gonna go ahead and have a few right hand only, just getting that feeling of using the loft, using the bounce correctly. Pretty good effort there. Good contact point, as I can see, because I've drawn that line in the sand two inches behind the golf ball. And again, left hand behind my back, right hand only. And got a real lot of height on that one. You'll have seen it on the camera. So a lot of height, so I know that I've allowed that club to actually pass my hands. I'm definitely not going in that way it would have been a very different sound much bigger divot much lower ball flight with a lot more roll on landing it's a great exercise to just get used to using the loft on the bounce give it a go let me know how you get on any feedback is really valuable guys if you can leave some comments below if you did enjoy the content please subscribe to the channel for plenty other content coming every monday wednesday and friday thanks guys